chasing the police every single day. So they're all on timers. Oh, this one. Oh, they're all fucked. Hey, that area's restricted. Just go back over there. You're good over there. Oh, okay. The line, you can spill them anytime, you, anywhere you want, but you can't go past that line. What line? I mean, because the. The gate's open for this. Uh, they do? How do you get involved with this? Oh, they are? Oh, that's a shame. Uh, the uh, cruiser, cruiser 129 over there in the front, its driver door is open a little bit. It's probably locked, but it's open. Yeah, the the white Explorer over there, the driver door to jar a little bit. This area right here, so you can go up and down the sidewalk. You just can't go past here. This is the restricted area. Right, I didn't know the garden was because you mean you can walk in the garden. Well, unless you have a unless you pay for it. Yeah, but where's the signs that say that? <laughs> I'm telling you. I, oh, I know. I'm idea. just because <laughs> these. People... I know, but for everyone else, it's like, oh, well, it's a garden. Well, it's, it's free if you, because you pay for each plot to garden it. Oh, okay. So yeah. the so it's kind of like you lease the land, like yeah, you know, like you know how they're numbered. Uh huh. So you have to lease that and pay a fee for the city. So that those are only the only people that are allowed in there. Yeah, but how do people know that? I mean, there's well, the gates just open. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just telling you. I, I know. I pre I, I no no, no I, I appreciate. It. I'm just saying. Thanks, brother. Thanks, man. And like I said, it's 129 up there. It's probably locked. I didn't fuck with it or you know touch the door or not but it's a jar a little bit so Thanks, yeah and i didn't want to shut it and you guys be like ah. <laughs> yeah man how's your day been so so for monday all uh, right and you? good Do you, and if mind if i ask your name and badge number now lieutenant lifter oh okay. lieutenant okay ID, ID number 170. thank you sir doing well i'm just checking out this awesome town you got here yeah. and then headed back up north where are you from Florida? Delaware originally, Delaware, but well. I travel the country. I'm from Jersey. Are you? Yeah. What part of Jersey, if you Trenton, don't mind me? Yeah. Trenton. Ah. Oof. You like well, here better? <laughs> a little bit. I'm not from the city of Trenton. I'm right. So I figured they were locked. I just didn't want to touch it, but it's, you can see it's cracked a little bit there. So. Uh, it might be. I wasn't sure if it was because of how it is or, but okay, yeah, it's better. Sorry to cause any grief. I just wanted to no, point no, that no. out to you guys. Nobody called me. I just happened to see you out here and I figured I'd tell you. I so appreciate it. Causing grief. I appreciate it. I checked out the fire department and saw the mural inside. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, you definitely can't walk over there. They no, can't... yeah, I know. I, I went yeah. in and, and asked and I, yeah, I know. But I went in and rung the doorbell and, and all that stuff. So thank you, sir. You too. Try and stay cool. I heard it's going to be a pretty hot one today. I got a big jug of water. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. All right, everybody. So there you go. City of Punta Gorda. Had a lieutenant come out and give, didn't give me any crap. Told me I couldn't be back there, but there is no signs or something saying I can't.
No, sir. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. I noticed the other day when I was driving by that you had some wonderful murals in the bay, the mm -hmm. engine bay and everything. I was wondering if I could walk with someone in there and take a look at them further. Thank you. How are you today? I'm doing well. And again, I'm sorry to bother you. Thank you, sir. Hello. Side here, and then the other part of the on the other wall. Now, what's the, the basis for the mural? Is there a story okay. behind it? Way back in the beginning, the fire department used to be based in the back part of what is now City Hall. Okay. Okay, so that's what this end of the mural is over here. This is kind of a general depiction of how the building looked back then. Okay. Uh, the gentleman up here in the window is one of the first fire chiefs. And all the stuff on the mural just represents historical stuff with the department. Okay, the people in the mural are actual Punta Gorda residents who, back whenever it was still a volunteer department, they were volunteers. And the apparatus itself is not one of Punta Gorda's apparatus, but it did belong to one of the fire chiefs. Oh, okay. Pers it belonged to him personally. Yeah, yeah. He bought it, and actually, it's still in use. That's what. Uh, City Council rides in during the parades. Really? Yeah. Um, and there, there's stories behind everything, like the chicken here. Uh, there used to be, or that's a, excuse me, that's a rooster. Um, rooster used to hang out wherever the station was uptown. Okay. Nobody knows who it belonged to originally, where it came from, or where it went. But it's just part of the historical lore is that there used to be a rooster running around. Now, I saw a rooster, a small rooster statue over by City Hall as well. Is that kind of to the same reference? I believe so, yeah. The Punta Gorda has a history with the animals <laughs> just wandering around one place or another. Um, the helmets on the side there, the name Coon, that's Chief Coon, that's who that is up there. First Chief. Okay. Uh, one of the Desquin men, uh, Hill, they're notable names in Punta Gorda history. There were volunteers with the department and everything like that. Um, now, two, when was this oh, department founded? 1897. Okay. Okay. Um, the two helmets here, if you look back here in the, on top of the locker. Mm -hmm. um, get a good look at that. One helmet with the 846 on it. That's the time that the first plane hit the World Trade Center. Uh, in 2001 the and 343 is the number of firefighters that died. Wow, that's a that great day. homage. That yeah. is beautiful that you guys added that in there. And then others, um, the Texaco sign up there. There was a Texaco, and this is like way before my time and everything. I'm in, I'm in import, so I can't <laughs> say that. But there was a Texaco gas station in town. And actually, that gentleman up there uh, owned it. And he would, you know, like whenever the siren went off for a fire, he would respond from his Texaco station as a volunteer. Wow. And be in uniform and everything like that. Now, I see a cat on the, the roof. Is there a significance for that as well? No, I think that's just there. Uh, something, <laughs> you know, to do it. Now, one thing about it, though, you'll notice if you look at the cat, there is a red thread mm -hmm. underneath them. It runs in the window. It actually runs the whole way down here to the end. Oh, oh okay. To this right here, and this is and Skip Deirdre is the artist. He's the one that painted this. Wow! So he puts that thread in all his paintings that he does, and it and goes it, around. Wow, it's beautiful. And then all the numbers in the bricks and everything are badge numbers of past and present firefighters. So they're all interlaced. This is beautiful. Yeah, the two hundred. The two hundred series are the career. Firefighters, uh, the 800 series. The 800 series are the volunteers that are still volunteers or were volunteers in the past, and the 900 series are the civilian people like me. So that's what they are. Beautiful. And then over on the other side. Wow. 
progression of uh, the dress and the protective equipment <coughs> over the oh, years. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, it started, you know, back back whenever there were volunteers, you showed up in whatever clothes you had on at the time whenever the alarm came in. And then over the years, it's changed into uh, canvas three-quarter length coats with uh, three-quarter length boots. And then it changed into no mix gear and everything like that. And like some of the some of the people in here, this gentleman right here actually is Rob Logan, or is depicted as Rob Logan, who was one of our lieutenants who retired. Gentleman next to him is uh, for the life of me, I can't remember his name. Sanderson, Lieutenant Sanderson. Um, the gentleman down here in the blue uniform shirt, right there. That was the first fire marshal in the city of Punta Gorda. The gentleman next to him is Alex Davenport, and the girl next to him is Caitlin McCausland. Wow. That's Beautiful basically, history. That's basically it, yeah. Beautiful history. Thank Beautiful. you so much for sure that. Thing. Again, sorry to bother you. Oh, no problem. Wow, you guys got some, some good apparatus, too. Yeah, this is a brand new ladder from 15 minutes here. Oh, did it? Yep. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, you try to stay cool today. Okay, well, you too. You have a good day. Thank you so much. Take care. Okay, everybody. So, missing successful. Came in. Did what I wanted to do. I saw inside the bays there. And went in, recorded everything in public that I could. Let's check out some of the vehicles while we can. But simple things, go in, ask politely, and see if they will accommodate. <laughs>